God, that was close. Yeah. Nice. Snook. Snook on a spoon. They were all snook. Isn't that crazy? That far off the bank? You've had this snook game today anyway. You really have. You have had the snook game today. Coming down. You've caught them on a variety of lures too, man. That's my next combat. I mean, you've just caught them on everything today. The medium heavy back one more time. Yeah, that was a black wad of snook. That's what it was. I mean, I was, I was looking, I was like, it's too dense to be anything but snook. And look where you got them hooked. Just perfect. What a, an Aqua Dream commercial. Aqua Dream commercial on this pinfish spoon. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Captain CA here, and hopefully you enjoyed that little on the water intro to this video. Today, we're gonna attack the top five inshore baits for May. These are very popular videos. We do them every month. By no means are they a hard, fast rule. It's just baits that I personally have confidence in for this time of year and if i have confidence in them i think i can build confidence in you which means you'll catch more fish so let's go to the front of the boat and talk about this Let's talk about the top five inshore baits. And I'm going to rank them in some type of order for you. So number five for me, once we start moving into May, we're definitely getting more humidity earlier in the mornings. We don't have that dry air anymore. And it's, it's all but actually summertime now. I mean, just the only thing that doesn't make it summer is the calendar says it's not summer quite yet in most places. If you live below or zone 10 or whatever, the tropical zone in Florida, it's been summertime for a month and a half. <laughs> but here's bait number one. Bait number one for me is I like to target dock lights. Now I used to fish dock lights at night all the time as a younger guide. Now because I'm up earlier, I literally target those those lights at like 4 and 5 a.m. in the morning before my day gets started because we're starting earlier now. So one of the best baits to work through the lights really quick is the Bucks. This is the Bugs Click Minnow. Okay. This is in the quarter ounce size. I'm able to throw this past the zone that is the intended target zone. You never want to land your lure in the strike zone. Remember that. That's important. We teach that at flatsclassuniversity.com. You want to cast your lure in such a manner that it lands behind the strike zone somewhere. And then you, that way, you have the perfect trajectory as you pull it through or swim it through quickly because you want to work this bait very fast. Click, 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 click right through that light and you will generate a strike from a feisty snook. That's bait number five. Now let's talk about bait number four next. Number four, the trusty spoon. Now this is more of a fish print. We like to use the pilchard like this one uh, and the pinfish quite a bit as soon as we start moving in the summer. Why do we like to do that? Well, for most, most part of it is the forage on most grass flats is just loaded with pinfish. I mean, just pinfish, pinfish, pinfish. So you're definitely matching the hatch. A lot of the spawn from threadfin and sardines and whatnot have all been in the smaller sizes. So this is the right size bait. This is a quarter ounce Aqua Dream spoon, um, high quality hardware. Uh, the only thing you need to add is a swivel. 
Now, we use this just because there's a lot of suspended and floating grass this time of year because more and more people are getting on the water and the grass takes a beating and it starts to get ripped up. So you have this floating grass. Plus, you have more reliable sea breezes that are a little bit stronger and they're piling grass up in certain zones. So the spoon is just one of those tools in your tackle box that is going to allow you to negotiate a lot of those, those zones um, weed free and still have a viable lure that will catch a lot of fish. So five, click minnow for the dock lights, four, spoon for the flats. I've got number three coming right now. Number three for me, definitely top water. I know we talked top water last month, but top water, it's the right time early in the morning coming out of those dock lights you're starting to see that sun just above the horizon you've got a little bit of time to work a surface plug surface plugs to me actually could be worked all day long but i feel as if you still have a shot at the bigger trout up shallow in the mornings you've got snook that are nocturnal by their very nature that like to take advantage of low light windows and there's plenty of redfish wandering the flat. So if you want a lure that can catch all three species, you gotta throw a Top Dog Junior. Now this is kind of like a snow white with silver sides, but you can throw almost any profile or any color. This just happens to be about the right size top water to throw this time of year. And it's got that nice, loud, low frequency noisemaker in it where it's perfect for fishing in that two to four foot depths. Now let's talk about, well, we're on to number two. Number two, care to guess? It is snook season and there are tarpon around too. And I'm gonna do a special video about tarpon because tarpon allows us to throw a number of different soft baits and hard baits for them. But for this one, this is the kind of bait that I'm only throwing for snook. It's an area, it, it's like if I'm targeting areas like jetties, rip wraps, um, sea walls, docks, you know, that hold big, big boats where you know you have some deep water and some current. Um, any place that I know that snook are piled up, and that would have to be the 4.5 line through, okay? Now you can also use the six inch version of this bait if you live in a zone where you know the fish are big. Like if you live in Stewart, Florida or Jupiter, Florida, go to the six inch. But in many places, this 4.5 Mullitron, it's a line through bait. The hook comes out of the bait. So it's one of those baits that the fish has zero leverage. I have found, and if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, that I have been using this lure a lot since March. Um, I find that it's under the gunnel of my skiff on every trip now. So 4.5 Mullitron, definitely the number two bait. What's the number one bait for May that's going to probably produce the most eats for you? I'm going to show that one to you right now. Number one bait this time of year, especially if you like to catch any of the top three, is going to be the five inch scented jerk shad. This happens to be the nuclear pilchard color. Um, but Z-Man with this TPE material, the Elastec, gives this bait so much action, so much erratic action, especially when you rig it on like a ZWG hook, okay? Or even a lighter jig head, like a one eighth ounce redfish eye, you can give this bait so much side to side action you can skip this bait under docks under mangroves and because it works so fast but doesn't cover a lot of ground if you're smart the way you work it you can catch any snook any big trout that happens to be on the swashes on the beach or you can work it methodically with a jig head through potholes and catch plenty of redfish but it's one of my snook getters this time of year so that's your top five for May. Hopefully you can take some of these baits with a little bit of confidence and go to the water and catch some fish this month because this is one of the best months to fish is the month of May, one of my favorites.
Okay, if you like what you're learning here, like what you're seeing here, all the product reviews, all the fishing tips, the television shows, the podcasts, why not share them with your friends? Give us that thumbs up. We need that like. And please, punch that subscribe button. I want you here each and every week. Actually, I want you here every day. We drop videos every day here at Flats Class YouTube. And if you want something a little bit more in depth, a little bit more, uh, I'm going to say, drill down type of fishing classes, online fishing classes, go over to flatsclassuniversity.com and check us out there. All right, that's all I got for you today. Get out there to the water. In the meantime, you guys keep those rods bent. I'll keep the videos coming.